In this video, I'd like to just show you around the interface a little bit. There are some pretty neat features that Smart PLS has put into version 4. As before, if we have our selector tool, we can move things around. Now notice there is a, an alignment tool, that green line that keeps popping up. That lets us align with other objects. Now you can toggle that off down here with the magnet. Now if I move it around, those lines don't show up and it's hard to align them. So let me turn that back on and align that. There we go. Move this to the center. There we go. You can, as before, move indicators around by signifying the direction you'd like them to face. You can change shapes and colors, borders, you can change the text and the coloring, or set it all back to the defaults. You can also turn off this measure type, the ORD that it's showing, by clicking on the highlighter down here. Another really cool feature is over in the items here in the measures, if I were to click on, let's say, these three and highlight them, notice at the bottom, it says the best correlation is between these two, L3 and L2, with a correlation value of 0.716. Sorry, that's pretty small. Let me zoom in. There you go. That's pretty cool. Zoom back out. Notice also when I run this, which I can do just by saying run again if I've already run it, or I can go to calculate and choose the algorithm I want. The items over here on the left disappear and we get some reporting tools for visualizing our model. Let me zoom in real quick by going to zoom and like that. And let me just move this up into a visible portion of the screen. There we go. Okay, notice a few things. I think I mentioned this before, if you hover over a construct, you can see some summary information for the endogenous construct. If I hover over an exogenous construct, I get relevant information, but no R squared, of course. Let me zoom out. We can also do several things with the model over here. Notice, right now, it's showing the path coefficients for the inner model. If I change this, I can show the indirect effects, if there are any. So now look, over here in this model, the indirect effect of ethical concerns on satisfaction with work is negative 273, which occurs through burnout. Notice these are blank right now because these are not indirect effects. I can also change this to path coefficients, that's the default. Total effects, again with mediation, here's the total effect, it's the direct plus indirect effects. These also have just direct effects right here and right here. And I can change this also to the F squared or the effect size. So this is the magnitude of the effect on the other variable. That's really cool. Let me change this back to path coefficients. For the outer model or measurement model, the default is to show either the weights or loadings depending on if it is specified as an endogenous latent variable or an exogenous latent variable, uh, which you might call uh, formative or reflective. Right now with the arrows pointing outward, it is going to be showing those loadings. Notice that didn't change. If I were to change this to weights, this is what we'd observe. So I will just leave it on its default because then it just chooses dynamically. Inside the constructs, you can see right now we have a 0.3 for this endogenous construct. Down here, there is nothing in there, but if I were to change inside the constructs to show me the AVE, then we can see that there, and we can see this one has an AVE of 687. Very cool. I can also change it to show composite reliability, chrome box alpha, R squared, which we just saw, R squared adjusted, or the row. Very, very cool. I'm just going to change this back to the R squared. Last, we've got highlighting paths. It's defaulted to off, and you'll see why this is what happens when you don't default it to off. You get all these heavy lines, and it's showing the amplitude of each effect. So skinny lines are weaker effects. Thick lines are stronger effects. I'm just going to set that to off. So those are just a few of the really cool features available on the user interface in Smart PLS 4.